I had in my possession two books that had belonged to my uncle, an uncle I never ever met. They were the Iliad and the Odysseus of Homer, which he acquired for his studies at Oxford, and which he had signed and dated 1916 on the flyleaf. Both books were also signed on the inside of the front cover, C.S. Lewis plus December 1914 on one, and St. John's College, Oxford on the other, and both had a strike-through line indicating that they had been sold on for second-hand resale. Now C.S. Lewis was an author of many books, both spiritual as well as fiction, and was particularly well known for the Tales of Narnia series, and his books can be purchased as part of the signature collection by Harper Collins. As an author, he has a following of ardent readers, many of whom will pay a handsome price for a book signed by him. It was my wife, an avid reader, who spotted the signature and realised their significance. So I made inquiries with auction houses and booksellers as to their value, and was offered a good price by Shelley and Sons Books, Hendersonville, North Carolina, subject to the signatures being validated as genuine Clive Staple Lewis signatures. Now St John's College and 1914 were not consistent with Clive Staple Lewis's time at Oxford, as he attended University College in 1917, but a change in the starting college was not unheard of, and my uncle's date of 1916, his starting time at Oxford, may not have necessarily related to the date of purchase of the two books. The 1914 date coincided with Lewis being privately tutored by William T. T. Kirkpatrick, alias the Great Knox, and former head of Malvern College, so might have been a study book he used at that time. Like most other Oxford students, Lewis was enlisted into the army in 1917, and would have most likely sold his books, as he would not have expected to survive the war. The signatures in the books were, to say the least, remarkably like that of the signature on the cover of the published signature collection. I therefore pursued the matter with the Oxford Archives, and after many exchanges between the Archives, St John's College and University College, it was established that 1. The signature was that of Clifford Stanley Lewis, who attended St. John's College in 1914. 2. He enlisted in the army in 1915 and died of his wounds in 1916. 3. Like my uncle, he was a pupil at Bristol Grammar School, and despite the two years' age difference, I suspected they knew of each other, which may have been part of the reason for my uncle purchasing the books. Commercially, the books were now worth little or nothing, but at least the truth has been established as a direct consequence of Stan Shelley's interest in them, and now, due to his efforts, will reside in the Marion E. Wade Centre, Wheaton College, Wheaton, Illinois, which houses the world's largest collection of C.S. Lewis items. Before sending him the books, I took them to the BBC's Antiques Roadshow, where, whilst they found the tale interesting, were not particularly enthused by them. The compensation was that the excellent weather made for a great day out, my father also went to Oxford in late 1917, only to be enlisted in the army by April 1918. He succumbed to the Spanish flu that was at epidemic proportions killing in excess of 25 million people worldwide at the time, and so missed out on being shipped overseas with his regiment and being killed in the war. It was my father who retrieved the two books from the family library that eventually came into my hands. End of tale.